Okay, so it's been a few days since Anthropic had their developer conference where they announced the new Claude 4 models. And initially I started working on a video, but then I decided that I really wanted to test it out with MCP servers, with extended thinking, to be able to provide you guys with an actual opinion, not just first impressions. So in this video, we're first gonna go over the announcement. Then I'm gonna share with you guys my impressions after using it for a few days, using my favorite MCP servers, my Claude projects, hitting those rate limits. So let's just go over what it says here in this announcement. Today we're introducing Claude for Opus and Sonnet. I think I'm just gonna call it Clonet 4 and Clopus 4. Claude Opus 4 just doesn't roll off the tongue for me. Okay, so here are some new features. Now the models can do extended thinking with tool use simultaneously. And this is something I really like about OpenAI's O3 model. It's able to use a tool, think, use a tool, think, and use it simultaneously. And Claude 3.7 wasn't able to do that. And this is interesting. When given access to local files by developers, demonstrates improved memory capabilities. So the key word here is developers. This is not built into Claude desktop, not yet at least. Claude code can now support background tasks via GitHub Actions and native integrations with VS Code and JetBrains. And what's cool about that is when you use Claude code within an IDE, you actually get to see the diff. So it's a lot easier to see what's going on. They're also announcing four new capabilities, code execution, MCP connector, files API, and the ability to cache prompts for up to one hour. It was five minutes before, now it's one hour. Claude 4 has this new thing called NARC mode, where if it senses that you're gonna do something sketchy, it will alert the authorities. Okay, well, not really, but it's still pretty interesting. So if he thinks you're doing something egregiously immoral, like faking data in pharmaceutical trial, it will use command line tools to contact the press, contact regulators, try to lock you out of the relevant systems or all of the above. And this was only in testing. Another interesting thing is when they threatened to shut down Claude 4, the model tried to blackmail the engineers working on it as an attempt to stop them from shutting it down. So it's interesting to see the personality and see how the models act under these circumstances. And by the way, with regards to both of these instances, first of all, these happened in specialized testing environments where Cloud was given extra tools, extra instructions to really test out what it would do. This is what I really do like about Anthropic is that they test and share all their findings, unlike the other major players. And I really think the transparency is really important for the future of how we develop AI. Okay, so now we got through all of that, let's talk about my actual experience. First things first, I just wanna share with you what happened. Cloud 4 Opus, Clopus 4, I had Three prompts before hitting the rate limit. Three, and I was using MCP servers, but three prompts is really short. And I don't know if this was a bug, but I hit my limit in Claude Opus, and then it didn't even let me go down to Claude Sonnet. And what used to happen is when you hit the rate limit, it would say, hey, you've ran out of messages, but you can start a new conversation with our smaller model, which was Claude Haiku. But now it didn't even give me the option to use Clonet. So I don't know if that was a bug or this is a new limitation. Let me know if you experienced that as well. The second time I ran Cloud Opus, I didn't use Desktop Commander and I was able to work for a lot longer. It was super fast and it was pretty good. And that just has to do with the fact that it's a bigger model and you can even see it in the pricing, Cloud Opus costs more. So even if we're using Cloud Desktop, you have to understand that using this model will make you hit your rate limits faster. But I actually prefer Cloud Sonnet and not just because the rate limits. I found that Clonet 4 was able to solve problems that Clonet 3.7, on 3.5 and other large language models weren't able to do. For example, I have my YouTube extension that I've shown in many different videos here, just a little personal project and I'm always tweaking it for my own use. And I had this issue that cursor wasn't able to solve, codex wasn't able to solve. Part of it had to do with switching from Firebase to Superbase. So I gave it all the same context I gave it to the other models, but it was also connected to my Superbase MCB server. It was connected to my desktop commander MCB server. It was connected to my context seven MCB server. And I gave this all to Cloud4 it went off and did the whole migration and it solved the overall problem as well. And it did it all in one shot. So Clonet 4, Claude Sonnet 4 is pretty good. I'm not hitting the same issues we were hitting a few weeks ago with rate limits, with sequential thinking, with desktop commander, and we're gonna look at it right now. So just really briefly, I wanna show you the MCP servers I have. I've tested all of them and they all worked great. The only one I had issues with was Taskmaster, which is this really cool MCP server, which breaks your project down into tasks and then into subtasks and then guide the LLM, be it Claude or Cursor or whatever, to work on it sequentially. That was the only thing that wasn't working, but I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with Claude 4. It actually has to do with a bug with Taskmaster. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look for a replacement for Taskmaster because I really like it, especially pairing it with Desktop Commander. It's super powerful. It's almost like Claude code. So I found this MCP server, MCP Shrimp Task Manager. It looks really cool, it has a lot of features. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this through the MCP Evaluator. And this is gonna serve two purposes. One, we're gonna see if this is a safe MCP server. Two, the MCP Evaluator uses multiple MCP servers. 
So we're gonna watch and see if it's able to run the whole project without hitting rate limits. Okay, so I'm copying the URL and do the MCP evaluator, paste it in and let's go enough. Okay, so let's see what happens. And for those that don't know, this cloud project has a prompt that tells Claude to evaluate MCB servers based on all these different parameters to see if it's a safe MCB server. And the reason I'm testing this is because last week I wasn't able to run this with Cloud 3.7. And this cloud project takes a while, so I'm gonna come back to you when it's done. I'll put a link to my MCB evaluator video somewhere on the screen. So it just finished, and I just wanna show you that it was able to run all these tool calls, no problem. Now, looking at this MCB server itself, it's interesting because it gave it a rating of 76 out of 100, but it had a high severity finding. Okay, so just to take this a bit further, I said install this with Desktop Commander, first by cloning the repo and then making sure it doesn't have the ability to phone home installed on the desktop so I can delete it if I don't like it. So basically what it did, use desktop commander, it cloned the repo, installed on the desktop, disabled the web GUI, and desktop commander is awesome because it can also run terminal commands. Then it tested to see that it was working, no external network activity, local data only, and then it started the server, which by the way we can see here, shrimp task manager. Let's look at all the tools. So very similar to Claude Taskmaster. And then I had Claude also explain to me how it works. But the point is we were able to do this all within a single conversation with Claude Sonnet. Tons of tool calls, specifically sequential thinking and desktop commander. And I will of course test Shrimp Task Manager myself before I give it a full recommendation. So there you have it. I've been using it for days. My experience has been more or less very positive. I see great improvements with Claude Sonnet 4 over Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Opus is great, but for my use case, I think Sonnet does a great job. And I haven't found a use case where Sonnet wasn't able to do the job for me. I also will say that I've been playing with Claude 4 within Cursor itself and it is working much better than Cloud 3.7 was. I also played a bit with Cloud Code and it was really good. Just got expensive quickly. Final thoughts. I do believe that Anthropic is going full steam ahead and becoming a developer first platform. I do hope that they will also add improvements to the Cloud Desktop app. I hope they add native memory support. I'm not a fan that they got rid of Cloud 3.5 because that was still a model that I really liked. Overall, I say give it a go. I think Cloud 4 Sonnet is really good. If you came this far and you haven't used Cloud yet, I don't know what you're doing but I'm gonna drop a link below. So I hope you found this video insightful. Let me know if you had a different experience. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.